welcome to Sneak Peek Week. So this week we are talking about this gorgeous little thing, the Hello Gorgeous Puff Sleeve Tee. So two of the biggest trends at the moment are the square neckline and the big beautiful puff sleeve. Uh, so I wanted to make you a pattern so that you could sew those um, trends for yourself. Thus, the Hello Gorgeous Puff Sleeve Tee. Now the reason it's called Hello Gorgeous is when I um, suggested a couple of names to Melanie, she's like, you have to call it the Hello Gorgeous. It's the first thing I did. I said, when I put it on, I looked in the mirror and went, oh, Hello Gorgeous. And I'm like, that's exactly what I said. <laughs> Thus the name. So let's just talk about um, briefly the elements in this pattern. So it's a stretch knit pattern for four-way stretch knits. Um, the variety of fabrics you can use is huge. What I've tried to do with each style is show you in a fabric with body, so a fabric that um, has a little bit more structure um, and fabrics that are fluid and drapey. So you can see the difference um, and you can create what is perfect for you. So let's have a chat really, really quickly about all the different elements um, in the pattern, all the different styles that you can make and then I'll get on to showing you the ones that I've made up. So there are four sleeves. There is a short puff sleeve, there is above elbow puff sleeve, there is a below the elbow puff sleeve, and there is a long combo uh, puff sleeve. Um, on top of that, you can also make this pattern without the puff, without the cuff, <laughs> creating the puff at the bottom so that you have a gather at the top and then you have a nice flowing sleeve. So that's gonna add another three sleeves um, to the, your little repertoire. Uh, now the body of the top is our slim fitted pattern. So it's, it's a semi-fitted look, it's not tight. So let's talk about the necklines. There are three necklines in this pattern. There is a high rounded, and that has a band on it. There is a low rounded, also has a band. And then there's two squared necklines. One is gorgeous and low, and that has a band. And the other one is a higher um, squared neckline, and that actually has a binding. And the reason for that is it, it holds the shape better. Now, let me talk to you about this squared neckline. It's not a mitered corner square, so it is not difficult. Now, the reason I didn't create a mitered corner square is it's a tricky style. Um, it's like, uh, a v-neck um, on steroids <laughs> so you've got both it's like you've got a v-neck here and a v-neck here I wanted to create a pattern that everyone could make and that everyone could make quickly and easily um, so the square neckline has curved edges at the side it still creates the same beautiful shape that you've probably seen in the stores but it's achievable by everybody which is what we like at Pattern Emporium so here she is. This is the short puff sleeve with the squared neckline in a cotton lycra. So this fabric has a little bit more body. So it holds the structure of the puff, as you can see, beautifully. So what do you think? This is in the short length. Um, you also get um, a longer length, so you can choose what suits you. What do you think? Now here we have another um, short sleeve version in um, cotton lycra. So you can see again, it holds the beautiful puff on the sleeve. This one doesn't have as much resilience as the other one. So um, it is a little bit firmer through the sleeves. But the beauty of this pattern is that you customize this sleeve. It's really, really basic, um, but to get the perfect fit, to create the perfect puff you just customize it and it's really really straightforward I explained it all in the tutorial so this is a really really stretchy really really gravy and really really slippery poly elastane so you can see like you can see how much stretch there is and a, a decent amount lengthwise um, not not crazy you don't need too much like 10% um, as long as it has give, as long as it's not rigid, because um, otherwise it just around the armholes, it's uncomfortable. Um, and you can see here, it's just this feminine 
little t-shirt, really, really cute, really, really sweet, really, really slinky. <laughs> and this is the high neckline, short sleeve, short length, really, really sweet and cute. Okay, so this one that you saw in the beginning of the video is the above elbow puff sleeve. I've created it in um, a Liverpool. It's, it's a bonded Liverpool, so it's like two thin layers joined together. But it's got so much body and structure that you can see, like look at that, see the gathers and the cuff. So this one sits above the elbow. And if you make it in a fabric with body, you can see how full the sleeves are. And on this one, I've done the high rounded neck. Okay, let me show you what it looks like as a fake dress. It is so insanely gorgeous. Okay, if you're more of a flippy girl, this is the skirt combo for you. Look at that. So this is the symphony skirt in the knee length. Look at that. Isn't that just the cutest thing you've ever seen? So with all the, the Christmas events, and in Australia we have racing events um, right now, this is an awesome outfit. It is so quick and easy to make. Um, you've got your outfit sorted or several outfits sorted. So, got the flippiness and the gorgeousness. It's like I can hardly stand myself. If something fitted is more your style, how about the In My Stride skirt? So you have the smoothness through the body and then you have the gorgeous flippiness at the hem and of course you have the three fullnesses of the different um, flounces in the In My Stride skirt, but it makes a beautiful fake dress. And if a fake dress isn't your thing, the same um, symphony skirt, just in an animal print. Really, really cute. And if you're looking for something for work or you're a pants girl, these are the Urban Flare One Day Pants. So same style, different fabric. This is a more drapey fabric. So you can see the puff is really subtle and soft. Um, it's the high round neck. Um, and you can see it just creates a really soft, lovely, subtle look. Now we have another drapey fabric here. Um, this one is a Visco Celestine, um, really drapey, you can see, really bouncy, really floppy. Now this time we've not added the cuff at the bottom, so it still has the gather along the top, but not at the bottom. And it creates a really, really pretty, really easy to wear top that still has that gorgeous little gathering going on. Now this fabulous snakeskin look is a um, viscose elastane, so very, very stretchy, very, very soft drape. Um, this is in the low neckline, and then this one is the below elbow sleeve. So you can see how softly um, the puff sleeve drapes, very, very differently to um, the fabric with more body, like a Liverpool um, or a cotton lycra. Um, and if you're gonna use something like this, it makes a really lovely casual t-shirt that looks just as great with pants as it does with shorts. So it makes a really perfect transseasonal top, which we love around here. So just with some cute little shorts, little denim shorts, or a skirt with your pants, jeans, anything. Um, the, this look is so versatile. And the last sleeve style is this amazingly gorgeous long sleeve. This is um, a jacquard knit, so it's quite thick. Um, it's got this amazing animal print over the top that you can't, I don't think you can see it. Oh, there you go. Isn't that amazing? Um, so heaps and heaps of structure in um, a jacquard knit. Uh, you can see it's like holding this beautiful puff here, holding the puff here. Now the long sleeve is a combo sleeve. It has the slim, oh, <laughs> it has the slim sleeve here and then the puff that sits 
below the elbow and then obviously the puff up here as well now this is the high neck um, this just video doesn't do it justice it's like I feel like I should be just walking around like this all day because <laughs> it's super super cute um, let me pop on a pair of jeans and you can see how easily this look translates to something a little bit more casual so whilst the top is a little bit more formal in my opinion um, in a more structured fabric popping it on with a pair of jeans a pair of cargoes kind of makes it just that little bit more casual a little bit more weekend now that is an outfit this is the in my stride in the, the longer midi length and then it's a, um, a boo spandex um, which just makes me feel like really really cute I love that it gives me like a little bit of a butt I could just show you outfits all day everything I own goes with this top so this is uh, Friday Feels um, and it's just a polyelastane. You whip it up in 20 minutes. And that is hot. This is um, the sachets, but uh, extended into cloths. So like a skirt. <laughs> Super cute. Okay, one more top to show you. Um, and this is the same as this one, so the long sleeve, in something a little bit more fluid, so you can see the difference. So this one, again, is the long sleeve. It's uh, the low squared neckline. The fabric is very, very drapey. It's very soft, very stretchy. Um, it's actually really lovely to wear. I guess it's most like um, maybe a single brush poly. Um, so you can see the drape's a lot softer. It's just lovely and easy to wear now i wanted to show you if you wanted to create like a soft uh dress kind of look like um two-piece dress and i'll show you this one with the pink one as well so that you can see nice wide belt look at the back on it isn't that amazing let's do it up now i don't have um a defined waist at all um, I'm quite sort of up and down, straight up and down between here. But creating a waist, hang on, we can go smaller than that. There we go. Tucking myself in and the belt. And look at that. A whole different look. Let me put um, the other top on and I'll show you how you can make a fake dress look smashing with this belt. Okay, so this is the same top as earlier, the above the elbow half sleeve um, in the Liverpool so and this is the symphony skirt so it's got that flippiness the fitted through here so tuck your top in and this also looks good with um, an obi belt if you know what that is it's a really no buckle really really simple you just do this up all right um, and with an obi belt it's it's thick and then thin so you start at the front you wrap it around and then you tie it back up to the front an awesome accessory to have in your wardrobe um, and I have a couple and I can't find them <laughs> so look you have just made yourself a fitted dress with a flippy skirt and a puff sleeve and you can put a round neck or a square neck on it and walk out the door and you are comfortable and amazing because this is just I'm gonna to have to find somewhere to go because this is just it's really incredible so it really is that easy these are so fast and easy to sew you can have an outing plan for the weekend Thursday whip it up you're done um, and once you've done one, your first one is always a challenge, I think, but once you've done one, you can just rip them out. So which was your favorite? Was it the full bodied Liverpool? Was it the more drapey fabric? Was it the short sleeve? Was it the long sleeve? Was it the square neckline? Or maybe the higher rounded neckline? So thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see what you make with this pattern. Thank you.